Hi, this is Chazban and welcome to my channel, Coffee with Chazban, which was inspired by my friends to talk about coffee and some of my passions, which include road and mountain biking, audio equipment, Mac IT, amongst other things. So today I want to talk about uh, cleaning your machine. And you can see here right now the pressure gauge for the boiler is at one bar. It was down at zero. I had gone into eco mode. So I've uh, woken the machine up by pressing that button. We're going to get it to wake up. And you can see here it's showing clean six. That was showing clean 10 uh, because uh, I've made some morning shots. Uh, so now it's just showing six. So I've made uh, four pulls. So now um, we're going to get the blind filter there, which is uh, nicely got a nice storage spot underneath the drip tray. Pop that in and grab my cleaning powder and put about four grams of powder in the blind filter. Blind. I guess it's not really a filter. So there you see what it looks like in the in the basket, blind basket, there we go, it's a blind basket. So we're gonna do this cycle five times. It's gonna count down as we do each one. So it's gonna be 10 seconds on and 10 seconds off while, so the cleaning this solution can do some more work. So we're just gonna keep on doing this over and over and over again. I like to take it out uh, sometimes between and just give it a little swirl, kind of mix the, help mix up the powder inside the a blind basket and so here's another t uh, 10 seconds uh, this is second one and you'll see that when we discharge it here coming out of the discharge area you can see that nice foam so it means it's nicely activated and uh, the cleaning foam is doing a nice job for the back flush uh, that uh, cleaning cycle on the PID display there um, you can program the cleaning cycle, how often you would like to clean your machine. I like to clean my machine about uh, once every 30 pulls, so I can program it. I want to do it every 30 pulls. That can be switched to however many times you like to do it. Um, for me, that works out to be about once a week for 30 pulls. Um, so for you, you might be, you do more, so you'd set it over a course of a week. Um, so you might set it to 50 pulls or something like that. So we'll just keep on doing this until, um, there you go, there's the power, the foam looks like in the basket. I think we're down to our last one here. And you will notice that uh, as you're going through this and when you're all done, the uh, pull handle or lever, or you want to call it, um, it's going to feel a little bit different after you're done. And that's because the cleaning solution has done its job. It's washed away the oils uh, that have kind of been acting as a lubricant, I guess, for that handle. So you will feel that sometimes it feels a little bit stiff after you've cleaned it. Uh, so there you go. So next we should be coming up to, we're going to rinse out that blind basket with some clean water. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do five cycles of 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And now you can see uh, my where it was saying clean six now is just showing the uh, brew, uh, the boiler temperature, which was at 120, 119 degrees there uh, at that point in time. So it's going to keep on doing this uh, over and over for the, like I say, for those five cycles. And you have a nice clean machine. Now I know I can uh, taste a difference uh, when it gets towards the end and when I clean the machine, I go, oh, yep, my machine definitely needed a cleaning and now I've got a nice, clean, fresh tasting espresso. So uh, good maintenance tip to keep on doing that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.